Hello and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. In this GCSE Biology video, we're going to go through cell differentiation. So if you are new here, then check out my Instagram, click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content. So what we're going to go through today is what we mean by cell differentiation, why it's important, how cells differentiate, and just looking at the purpose of that process. So cell differentiation, what that means is that all animals and plants are unspecialized in the very early stages of development. So if you think about a human in the very early stages when they're just a ball of cells or an embryo, that ball of cells is called stem cells or it contains stem cells. And those are cells that don't have any adaptations yet, so they're not specialized. Now, when they do become specialized, we call that differentiation. So they've become different. They differentiate into lots of different types of specialized cells. So we can see here we've got a nerve cell, red blood cells and other cells. So that is what we mean by cell differentiation. So cell differentiation in animals, this happens very, very early in the development for animals. And that's what we're seeing here. We've got just the zygote initially. So that is the cell that forms after a sperm and egg cell fuse. Then after a few days, we get the cells dividing until you just have a ball of cells, which is the embryo. Uh, by the time that a human is a baby, so being given birth to, they already have almost all of their specialized cells. And that happens by genes being switched on or off so that each specialized cell creates a specific selection of proteins within that cell. Now those specialized cells will mainly divide by mitosis to make more of those specialized cells. But by the time you are an adult and fully grown, mitosis is actually no longer for growth because you're fully grown, but instead mitosis is just for repairing any damaged cells or replacing damaged cells. Now in contrast, in plants, cell differentiation happens at different times. Most plants can actually continue to differentiate even after early development. The undifferentiated cells, or the stem cells, are found at these actively growing regions, and we call those regions that are continuously growing meristems. Stems and roots, or the tips of the stem and the tips of the roots, are meristems. And that means that there's constant mitosis happening at those regions for growth. So because of that, you can actually take a cutting from the tip of a root or a shoot, plant it in soil with some plant hormones, and from that tiny cutting, an entire new plant would grow. And that's because all of those cells were undifferentiated and therefore they could then become specialized to make a whole new plant. So that is it for this lesson. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out my other content on social media.